um, a member of the Council of Elders of the NDC. Let me just go quickly to get uh, a thought from a colleague of his, a comrade, if I have to, is that a uh, good morning, Honourable. <laughs> good morning, Honourable. Yes, good morning. Good morning. How are yeah. you? Yes, I'm very well. Thank you. I know uh, you you had some interactions. I, I recall the speaker when when the family of Iti Mensa came to to officially invite him or, or to inform him about his death. Yes, yes, yes. The speaker made mention of the fact that he had uh, some interaction with him just days before he passed away. Uh, you worked with Et right in Parliament. Yes. What is what is it about ET that you think one as a party the NDC will miss and also Ghanaians will miss? His resilience, his uh, determination, his focus. ET doesn't do things by half. When he he was our youth organizer, when we formed the party, he started as a youth organizer. Um, at the time that he was a deputy minister, deputy secretary actually, mm. um, in the Ministry of uh, Youth and Sports. The youth front was one front that we captured during his time and for a very long time. He was behind the formation of the in tertiary educational institutes network. He was the, the wing of the NDC. Yes, the, the youth wing that was in the tertiary institutions. And all the big men you see now were propelled from the in up to this, um, uh, the, this time. And it from there moved on. As a vice chairman of the of the party, before he even became a, a, a special state member, he was also a minister in youth and sports. And you know what happened in, in, in the ministry of sports, all that way. So it is one person that uh, NDC particularly will miss, and particularly the the the. the in the Greater Accra. Because you see, at the time, we needed to get hold of Greater Accra. In Ghana, you must win Greater Accra and also to win um, the, the general elections. General elections. Yeah. And ET was one strong pillar in Greater Accra, uh, which he brought into the national. So we in NDC, you see how we are here in our numbers. ET was very, very solid and very good with us. And uh, we have, we, we, he was also good at writing. He had a lot of scripts that he wrote. You remember we had what we call, let's we forget. Yes, yes, ET yes. chronicled all the things that we had done from PNDC to the system. And that's what we used for our campaigns in 2008, 2012. All right, okay. Many thanks. Uh, Mr. Kofiato is the Chief of Staff of uh, the Office of the Speaker, Alban Sumana. Back then. And we have one person who who also uh, knows it quite well. Uh, when it comes to decentralization, he is actually uh, the brain behind it. Professor Ahoy, good morning to you. Uh, <laughs> you my permission to interview me. <laughs> my apologies. I mean, good morning, good morning. Happy New Year to you. Uh, haven't seen you in a while. Uh, well, I know you had some relationship with uh, the departed uh, member of parliament, or former member of parliament for the Ningo Pram Pram constituency. One also asks uh, leaders or elders of the NDC, what role specifically did ET play in one unifying the party as an elder? Thank you very much. And as you know, I, I was at the University of Ghana campus with ET. He worked at the registry and I was a lecturer at the law faculty. And our relationship started from, from there. And then we got involved into revolutionary politics, you know, um, first on campus um, through what we call the NDM, National Democratic Movement. Yes. And then, of course, uh, the, the entire uh, 10 year period of the PNDC. Um, that's when I worked closest with him because he was the uh, chief executive of the Accra Metropolitan Assembly and yeah. um, I was the minister of local government. Yeah. So he worked directly under me. Um, we traveled around quite a bit, both domestically and internationally. Uh, he was a very committed person. Uh, his love for the city you know, knew no bounds. And uh, many innovations you know, that we find in the city today were actually his, his, his handiwork. 
Now, as far as the party work was, was concerned, when the decision was taken in 1991 to form a party to contest the elections, he was among the founding members of the NDC. And um, he worked very hard. Uh, as, as you may well know, he was a very effective organizer. And so his job was to organize the youth. You know, and okay. he brought together the youth within the NDC okay. and helped to make it into the party that it is today. Okay. I think that they are calling you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Many thanks, uh, right. Professor Ahoy, who is uh, noted, or uh, when you talk about decentralization, it's one person or the other. We understand the VVIPs, or the VIPs are uh, uh, on their way. John Mahama is on his way coming. Uh, also, uh, the the president of the Republic is also on his way, will also be coming here. We will try and get uh, a host of other people who we can have brief interactions uh, with as well on this. But I mean, it is a funeral that has united a lot of people uh, uh, who are here from both sides of the political divide. Uh, what we, we, we are getting so many people who are coming uh, here from your salt, you can see the 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 national chairman of the NDC, Johnson Asidun Ketia, who who is there. We we are also seeing a former speaker of parliament uh, who, who who is um, uh, the honourable Edward. Do Ajaho in your short over there. He also worked closely with him, and also the 2020 running mate of the NDC, Professor Nana Jane Pukwajiman. She's also there in your short. Fifi Kweti Jazz behind him, the general secretary of the NDC. Let me see if I can just get like a line, you know, a description of who E.T. Mesa is from. The former yeah, speaker yeah, of uh, the Parliament. A happy New Year to you, Honourable. Uh, you know, 80 minutes, I know you knew him very well. Uh, <laughs> well, okay. Let me get get a uh, uh, quick. Okay. Well, the 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 VF is almost here, so I mean it's a bit impossible to to get them now. But well, uh, 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 the the it appears it appears. Um, the former head of state, uh, John Mahama, is almost here. So the the, the chairman of the party, and then also uh, Edward Doha. And therefore, tried his best to get the men in suit. Uh, as we on the GFA, uh, members of the Council of State in your shorts who who were coming. This was the beginning of a long journey of friendship. You can see them coming in their numbers. He served the former chief justice. NDC, you know, all is uh, white, the chairman the of the Council of State, the of uh, they're in a handshake. The they journey of it is, has, of course, had all, its ups and downs. All this will have emotional, but his has, dedication um, to a cause can see them. Them. Uh, as he has as one, one of their own, as a one of, one of their the own uh, has left he them. And party. so, yes, you can understand Today, also, the, you can understand the emotions that come with it. But this is and left this is what is left of them time. as members of the Maybe Council of State. They are the in chosen. your short. Uh, you can see there. But we, we, okay, so um, the former head of state and the 2020 uh, four uh, candidate of the NDC, John Dramani Mahama, is just arriving. His, his motorcade is just arriving. He's just entering through uh, the, the end entrance of the car park towards uh, where the funeral will be held. Uh, his, his short being ushered in, but from his shorts there you can see the the brother or where the family is, the wife laureate, in your shorts the friend color seated, uh, being aided by uh, the elderly woman in your short over there. And then the brother of E.T. Mesa and then uh, the family member seated on that stage there. These are people. Uh, well, just a, sh a, a, a while ago on our screens we had Alaji Budu Yaya who is or who um uh, uh, who is a member of the Council of Elders of the NDC? So, John, this is the convoy of John Dramani Mahama, just arriving here in uh, your shorts. Uh, he's just going to step out of. He's just going to step out of. 
uh, his justice, vehicle uh, soon, Mr. Soon, and then we'll have that interaction, and we'll have that interaction with or, or that, just that brief greeting with him. So John John Romani Mahama in his shorts over there. That is John Mahama in a handshake with uh, uh, senior members of the NDC in your shorts over there uh, where you have his running mate and then also the chairman of the party, John Dramani Mahama in your shorts over there. Uh, yeah. So he will first he would first go towards uh, where he's been laid in state and pay his last respect to the body of E.T. Mensa, a man that he has, he has worked closely with, a man that he was also a minister in the Rawlings' administration with, a man who later became a minister in his own administration with John Dramani Mahama, together with the chairman of the NDC, and then um, the general secretary, and, and and then also his, his 2020 running mate of the NDC in your shorts over there. So that's him paying, going to pay his last respect to the memory of E.T. Mensa, who later became a member of the Council of State of the Republic of Ghana. So John Dramani Mahama, in your shorts over there, been led by the the chairman of the party, and also been led by the chairman of the party, and also uh, the running mate and the general secretary of the NDC. I mean, in a chit chat with the former speaker of Parliament, Edward Doajapo, right there in your shorts, being that it's it's of significance because of the relationship. John Mahama had with E.T. Mensah. Now he's heading towards where the family is, where the wife is, where the, wi where the wife is. He will be um, just uh, sympathizing and also commiserating with the family and also expressing his condolence. I mean, it's the usual thing that they do often times like this. And so uh, let's come back, let's come back. that is what he's doing. John Mahama there in in that close uh, shake with the wife of E.T. Mensah, Loriette Mensah, at we see him there. And also the exchanges of the pleasantries and then the commiserations to the family coming from the former president and also the the flag bearer of the NDC. John Mahama for some time has had a, a very close relationship with E.T. Mensa uh, because both of them were ministers in the Rawlings' administration. John Mahama was a deputy minister. And then later when John Mahama became the president, he uh, made E.T. Mensa a minister. And later on, that, 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 uh, uh, the, the, the three wise men, you know, uh, that's Alban Sumana Bakbin and E.T. Mensa, uh, uh, yes, E.T. Mensa, and also I think the current member of parliament for the Zebila constituency, Cletus Avoka. So, yes, you can see from a shot there, uh, yes, the former Chief Justice Georgina Wood, who is also a church member of the same church that John Mahama goes to, the Assemblies of God there. You can see a senior minister, um, Yao Osafomafo, in his shorts. So, a member of the Council of State. <laughs> a member of the Council of State there. So, 
John Mahama going closer there to also talk. Yes, with the senior members of the party, Alhaji Hudu Yaya, who is the, the chairman of the Council of Elders, the party, uh, uh, a former national organizer, and also a former contender, uh, John Mahama, at the primaries to become the flag bearer. Um, Dr. Kwabna Dufour in his shorts there. Uh, I've seen a minority chief whip. I've seen a former deputy minority uh, leader, deputy minority leader um, over there in his shorts. But I mean, it's been, it's been, it's been uh, quite an outpouring of members of the NDC. Of course, AT originally belonged and and still belong to the NDC. The reason why. A host of them are here in their numbers. A host are here in their numbers to be able to show their last respect to him. I mean, it's it, it's quite telling. You can see Dr. Kwamna Dufo in his short today in that intimate conversation with John Mahama and um, the former organizer. Nothing in your short over there. So. He's going to be sitting. He's going to sit. So that's John Mahama in the show. <laughs> So that's it. He's he's done exchanging the pleasantry with with John Muhammad there. Uh, John Muhammad there in his short. He's heading back to where he sits, and all the VIPs uh, will be coming. We understand the president of the Republic would also be here. In short, he will also uh, make his way here to be able to. So that's 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 getting the shot. Let me just catch a brief word with His Excellency the President. Please no it. Okay, all right. So uh, so well uh, just a quick attempt to get something from his uh, the former head of state John Mahama. Uh, quite unsuccessful. Uh, but let me see if I can quickly catch something with with the the general secretary of of the NDC. Oh, okay, uh, Professor Nana Okokwajiman, uh, see the running mate, uh, the 2020 running mate of uh, the NDC. If that's possible for us um, to be able to to get something little from. But these are the people who were here. Uh, okay, so in the short there also is some some George who is uh, the MP for John uh, uh, for E.T. Mensa's constituency. He he replaced E.T. Mensa uh, in his constituency. Let me just get uh, let me just get a quick word from the 2020 running mate of the NDC. Uh, Happy New Year to you, Prof. Um, for how long have you known AT? I mean, quite a, a, a long time, I suppose. But from where you sit, one as an educationist, and also the time you joined the NDC, how long has it been that you've known AT? Well, I cannot put a date on it. His name has been in the public domain for a very long time, especially with sports. And I think that is where I encountered him briefly because at the University of Cape Coast, we have a very, very good department, Hyper, on sports. So we had to do some work with him. But when I moved into the ministry, uh, he was part of a three-member team that was supposed to be uh, interested in the infrastructural development of the country. And since at the time we were building universities, we were removing schools from under trees, we were expanding senior secondary schools, we were expanding or providing facilities that were missing at the colleges of education then, as well as expanding the senior secondary school level, it became necessary that I work with him. I found him to be a fine gentleman. And, 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 and I mean, he later became a member of the Council of State. It's a bit unusual, for want of a better way, quote unquote, for somebody coming from the opposition side, you know, so to speak, becoming a member of the Council of State. I'm not too sure if we've had that in the past, but to you, 
what what is it that you think he offered as a member of the Council of State to well, the nation? I be able, but I think that, you know, if we are building a democracy and if we need a Council of State to counsel the president to show the country the direction it should be going, then it shouldn't really matter where the person is coming from. So I thought it was all right. Yeah. All right. Many thanks to you, Professor Genano Pukwajiman. Uh, let's, let's see if we can get a former minister uh, uh, of sports during the the NDC administration, uh, Equia Senadansua, who was also in parliament. Uh, she was uh, 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 she was at the sports ministry when E.T. Mensa was uh, there as well. We're trying to say, okay, that's, that's not, I saw her a while ago, but she's not here. Yeah, but I mean, one of the things that we can get, let me see if we can get uh, um, a member of the Council of State to be able to talk to. Okay, well, it's a bit difficult getting them, but what it is is that, what it is is that, well, all the Council of State members are here in your short. Uh, we told the president to be here uh, quite shortly, and uh, he would be uh, speaking to them. Let me get, let me get uh, Professor Joshua Aladi. Prof, good, good, good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Happy New Year. Yeah, same to you. Yes. Uh, well, Iti Mensa, yeah. who was he? Who is Mensa? Was a very great man. Is part for this country. Um, very hard working. Um, and he, he was a member of the, um, the revolution. And he rose through the ranks from being an accounts officer from the rest of Ghana to mayor of Accra to minister of state. And finally, to um, Council of State member. Um, only few people have gone through this. And he distinguished himself in all what he did. I think that today, as we meet here, we are appreciating and celebrating excellence. And we hope that the good Lord will take care of him well. Of us are there behind, we also continue on the good work. Good work in the interest of Mother Ghana, good work in the interest of our people. He's done a bit. May so rest in perfect peace. All right, many thanks, Professor Joshua Alabibu, as a former campaign uh, 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 chairman for the NDC. Let me get a former uh, mayor of Accra who is also uh, a member of the Council of State, sir. Good. Uh, Good morning, happy new year. Many happy returns to you. Yes, uh, you, you work closely with ATMS and when he was a member of the AMA and, and then also becoming um, a, a member of the Council of State, which you remember. How well will the Council of State miss him? We, we will miss him. We will miss him very dearly. I particularly will miss ATMS because. It was my initiative that brought you to Mensa to join to join us at the Council of State because we, we would need two two representatives from Greater Agricola area and I happen to be the only one there. So we had to scout for somebody with enough zeal and I I, I, I thought G.T. Mensa was going to be a, a very good candidate. He wasn't a member of your party. Why, no, why yeah. did you have to? Look, council, we, we wanted to create an impression that the Council of State is not meant for party people. Okay. So I, I suggested to the president, uh, let, us, uh, let us bring G.T. Mensa into the fold. I had known him. He was a mayor of Accra. Yeah. He left one. Both of you occupy the same office. Yes. And um, we've, we've been very good uh, pals since then. And going back a little, uh, 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 you will realize that Yiti Mensa, Yiti Mensa, I, when I was a football 
House of Oak. When I was House of Oak um, uh, 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 chairman, chairman of Accra House of Oak, Yutimensa was playing for all Russ, second division team. So I had known him for years. So I thought he was he was a, a wonderful partner, and I we enjoyed him in the council. Okay. And 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 what 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 lesson do you think one as young people we should be learning well, I from think, this? Um, take advantage of the relationship that we made with E.T. Mensah, that party politics should not create a situation for people to fight it, each other. And I think E.T. was the embodiment of that uh, 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 I think, yeah. Okay. Many, many thanks to you, a member of a member of the Council of State and also former mayor of Accra Stalini, Ajri Blankson. Let me see if I can just catch a quick a quick word with uh Giti Afeni, Dazi, who is also a member, just a quick one. Yeah, I know I'm she's not in her prime now as a journalist, but once a journalist, always a journalist. Mom, happy new year. Many happy returns. Uh one E T uh how greatly would he be missed? He'll be missed as a patriot, yeah. as a nationalist, as an organizer. Yeah. Sorry. Somebody who wanted to bring development to his people. Yeah. That is how he'll be missed. Okay. All right. Many thanks. The president has just arrived, so we would we would just have to cut off the transmission from here, and then we can go have uh, what? Just yeah. doing. So you go to us. Yes. So, his Excellency the President has just arrived, and uh, he's going to pay his last respect so to Mensa from a short uh, over there. Just rushing there to see if we can have it. His Excellency the President going to pay his last respect. That is Excellency the President and Adrian Kwakufado. And the short who just paid his last respect to a man who is a friend of his, a man who so became a member of the Council of State, of the Presidency, that he is the leader. So, His Excellency the President moving towards. So, His Excellency the President heading towards where the family uh, is seated, uh, where you can see short, uh, the wife is also. So, the Greater Accra Regional Minister, uh, Henry Kwate, and the President there is short, and also uh, uh, in his shorts, that appears to be the son of E.T. Mensa. And so, the E.T. Mensa, and then Ade, uh, uh, Robert Ni Adekoka. Uh, a sports enthusiast, a former Great Accra chairman of the NDC, shot the president in the show with the family and the brother of E.T. Mensa uh, in, in, in your shorts over there. There's the exchange of the pleasantries with them. I see the president, Nana Adodankwa Ekufo Ado, in a shot right from here. He's heading towards where the VIP days is, where he will also uh, be exchanging pleasantries. Uh, with with them as well from a short uh, so he's starting from a former he's going to be starting from a former speaker of uh, parliament Edward Doa Jaho that's him in short <laughs> So the president has changed the pleasantries with John Mahama and also the chief of staff, the Council of State, uh, 
chairman, you know, so Yao Osafomafu, who is a senior minister under his administration over there. So, and yeah, former uh, Justice Georgina Wood in the shot there, all the senior state people, senior state members over there from your short. So, the the service is just the service is just about starting where uh, officially they will be taking over all they will they will be continuing with the program lineup and how uh, things should be done with respect to uh, who should be talking who should be saying what and all that so that's that's it from your show today. The president has had his seat over there from your show. And so, yes, his, his excellency, the president. This is the funeral coverage of uh, the former council of state member, long time, if not the longest serving minister for youth and sport, E.T. Mensa, a former member of uh, parliament for the Negro Pram Pram constituency, and also uh, a member of the council of elders of the NDC. Uh, any short over there, his, his laid in state funeral started yesterday. Uh, today, he is, he is there. Um, then, Okay, so Sarah just up there. She just arrived, and so she's going to exchange the present, the pleasantries with the VIPs. So that's Jonah uh, uh, with the chief of staff uh, as well, Fremont Parry. So letter to tell with the president also having uh, some exchanges with. Uh, So it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all set now. All the V, 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 I, P, S, here in the country are seated and uh, are waiting for the service to officially start uh, for the burial rights of the former sports minister, longest sports minister, longest. Uh, Sports minister to have served the country. My colleague Judy Brown, Judy Brown is here. I mean, there's there's one thing that I have seen. Uh, a, a member of the Council of State, Stanley Niadri, said to me, and he says that the diversity with which they wanted to approach the Council of State, so that it doesn't appear as if they are just appointing some appendages of the sitting administration. For you, what do you make of it? Yes, I'm saying that in speaking to Stanley Ni, Ni Adri, he, he said, I mean, and, and he's a former mayor of Accra, and, 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 and the same office that E.T. Mensa also once held, and he said he actually instigated E.T. Mensa uh, to become a member of the Council of State because they wanted diversity, apart from two representatives from Greater Accra, they wanted diversity from two different uh, political front. What do you make of this? Well, I think it's it's a good idea, of course, uh, two different politics, the Council of State, and if these two people are represented in such a council Ford brings the device the diversity that he's talking about um, we know that these are two political parties that are sort of running the state or the affairs of the state we know it's a multi-party state but we basically know that when it comes to uh, voting or the voting path thing we are looking more at the MPP as well as the NPC and so having two people from both fronts in the council of states promotes that diversity that he's talking about I agree uh, certainly with him for him to have done so such a thing during that time and so yeah basically it was a good idea to bring that diversity and ensure that we know that we have that sort of balance uh, in the Council of State uh, advising uh, the president as well right and so currently the clergy um, is filing past this is the final uh, rights that they'll be having for the pre-burial service before 
I mean, uh, the service or the funeral proper is going to begin. We saw that President Anado Dankwe Kufado has already arrived. Uh, he was set to arrive about 8.45 uh, a.m. this morning. He arrived around 9 a.m. And ever since, we know that the clergy is going to file parts for the last time before President Anado Dankwe Kufado. Um, I mean, before the main funeral rites begins, you can see them walking past and paying their last respects to the man Enoch Temensa. So yes, you can see the clergy walking. This will be the final filing pass for the late Enoch Temensa as he goes home. Of course, it is a solemn mood right here at the State House as a clergy fast pass. You see that they bow down to him, and this is a sign of respect they're giving to Enoch Tainment as he goes home. This is a man who served in Parliament for many, many years, from 1997 all the way to 2017. And his impact has been extreme in terms of what he has done to develop the Ningbo Pram Pram constituency. Of course, that is the reason why definitely he was retained for so many years until, of course, uh, Samuel Okujetu, uh, sorry, uh, until, of course, uh, the current MP took over in Parliament. And so as of now, we know that the funeral is really about to start. The clergy is finally done with the filing pass. And this was the final filing pass for uh, the late Enoch Tenmenta as he goes home. We saw the number of politicians and leaders of uh, uh, Ghana currently in terms of both the MPP and the NDC. He belonged to the new or the National Democratic Congress. And so, yes, they are heavily represented. We have John Jamani Mihama Siedun Ketia, who is the chairman of the party as well as a, the general secretary, Fifi Fiavi Kwete. We have many others in terms of um, the NDC over here. We have the president himself, Nanado Danko Kufado, and uh, the current leader of uh, Ghana. And we know that we saw um, other political parties. We have the Council of State also seated right there on stage. And many others. We saw Samo Okujeto. He he is a much celebrated lawyer right here in Ghana, that's so many things. And all these people are here to commemorate the life and the service of the late Enoch Temensa. Family is in a solemn mood. We saw his brother right there, also commemorating his life. As Enoch Temensa goes home, we are going to be receiving some tributes from now, from the family of the late E.T. Mensa. Now you can see the son of E.T. Mensa walking. That is his last born, his last baby. He's walking to pay his final respects to his father. You can see him in a very solemn mood as he pays his last respects, looking at his father in his casket. And of course, he's joined with some elderly members of E.T. Member, uh, e. Mensa's family, including his brother, as they join his son to pay his last respects. Very sad mood for this family. We know who the man E.T. Mensa was. A colossus in terms of parliamentary work. And so they're going to be paying their final respects before the tributes are read.
you can see them praying over the body of the late E.T. Mensa as a family. And this is what, of course, they are doing to commemorate him before his casket is finally covered. So we pray for peace and comfort from God Almighty. Of course, they are praying that in our rests in perfect peace in the bosom of the Lord as he finally goes home. This is the final funeral rites for the late Enoch Taimensa. So the family is walking back to take their seats before the tributes are read on behalf of the late Enoch Taimensa. cannot be overemphasized enough the amount of pain that this family would be going through and now, dear Lipina, as at now the director general of religious affairs right here and forces the reverend model at the state house yeah. and so we're going to take some tributes now and you can see that the police service band is uh, playing some music before the tributes are read and you can see them marching beautifully I believe that they are about to come and cover the casket finally for proper to continue see that marching majestically to the casket and one of the members holding a Ghana flag folded up Yes, of course, they would be covering this casket, first closing it, and then they're going to cover it with the Ghana flag, signifying the kind of man that the late Enoch Tementa was. And the impact that he had made in Ghana as a country, and of course in Ningo Pram Pram, as a member of parliament. You can see them carefully covering up the casket with the Ghana flag. that the pre-burial service is finally over and we would no longer be having any filing pass by any other members. The family has done their bit. The clergy has also done their bit and all political leaders right here at the State House have successfully filed pass. From here, the funeral rites proper would begin, and tributes would be read. Of course, we're expecting a tribute from the president to his family as well. We're hoping to hear a tribute from the National Democratic Congress 
and of course former president John Germani Mahama. Finally done covering up the casket. So we are seeing them marching off. covering up the casket we know that the funeral rites proper is about to start I heard a voice from heaven saying right this blessed are the dead who and tributes are beginning Lord henceforth blessed indeed says the spirit but your deeds will follow them. amen so president ladies and gentlemen the service continue in the name of God the Father God the Son God, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So tributes are about to start, and you can see the clergy as well. And so a prayer is about to be said by the clergy. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. If we live, we live the Prayers life. Prayers are currently being said by the clergy before so then, the funeral proper live, starts. So then, we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ died and lived again, so that he might be the Lord of both the dead and the living. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of trouble. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last and the living one. I was there and see, I am alive forever and ever. And I have the keys of death and hates. The hour is coming and it is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the, of the Son of God and those who hear him will live. The name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, friends, we have gathered here to commend our brother, Honorable Evangelist Dr. Enote Mesa into the hands of the Almighty God and we come together in grief. Yes, we give praise to God for in His Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who died and rose from the dead and lives forevermore, we have an assurance of life that never ends. Jesus says to us, because I live, you will also live. Amen. We continue the service with the Methodist hymn 878 on page 140 of the brochure. At the very end of the brochure, oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter from the sobbing blast. Right, and so prayers have finally been said for the pronoun to start. And you heard right that this is the Methodist Church. Clearly, late in October, I was a member of this church, the Methodist Church. And so they're the ones leading the charge in terms of how the service is going. And the hymn, Oh Lord, I help in ages past, is currently being sung in commemoration of the late E.T. Mensa.
The hymn has finally been sung and the funeral is starting. The one on whom we lean and do not fall. Of course, you a sermon from the Methodist Church. Our fathers, mothers, and how in Christ brought us a new life. Give us grace that in the presence of death we may yet trust in your strength and power and worship you as Lord of all. In our distress, we may ask, where is our God? But you do not make us to know that your wisdom is infinite, so that what we may not understand is no mystery before you. You who hold the keys of death in your hands, and death cannot destroy those who trust in you. Let your spirit strengthen us that death and everything else that threatens our peace and even our faith in your goodness may be seen as already defeated. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Hallelujah. Amen. This is how. We will continue the service, comfort ourselves with the hymn, Methodist Team 608. Captain of Israel's host, guide all who sing the land about. Need thy shadow we abide, thou thy protecting love. Our strength, thy grace, our rule, thy way, our aim, the glory of the Lord. On page 140 of the brochure, page 140 of the brochure, shall we all stand and sing.
the watch and the night. Yet you feed people away in the sleep of the earth. They are like the new grass of the morning. In the morning it springs up new, but by the evening it is dry and wither. We are consumed by your hunger and terrified by your indignation. You have set our iniquities before you, our simple sins in the light of your presence. All our days pass away under your wrath. We finish our years with the moon. Our days may come to 70 years or 80 if our strength endures. Yet the best of them are our trouble and sorrow. For they quickly pass and we fly away. If only we knew the power of your anger. Our wrath, your wrath is as great as the fear that is your view. Teach us to number our days that we may gain the heart of wisdom. This is the word of God. A second reading of the gospel will be from John 14, 1 to 6, instead of 16, as reflected in the booklet. Shall we please rise for the reading of the gospel? Jesus, the way to the Father. Don't let your heart be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. There is more than enough room in my Father's home. If this were not so, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? When everything is ready, I will come and get you, so that you will always be with me where I am, and you know the way to where I'm going. No, we don't know, Lord, Thomas said. We have no idea where you're going, so how can we know the way? Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. If you had really known me, you would have known who my father is. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. 27. I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give you, the peace I give is a gift that the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or be afraid. This is the word of God. We will continue with the Methodist in 74 on page 140. Praise to the holiest in the height, may the dead be praised. In all his words, most wonderful, most sure in all his ways. After which, we will have the biography of our brother, Honorable Evangelist in all terms.
we will sit and sing the last two stanzas, and we pray that the former director cannot go at school, Mrs. Asasari, Mr. Asasari, who read the biography for us. We pray that all others who are to read the tributes will come in front here and have a seat by us here at the same time. The last two stanzas. And The widow, the children, and National Democratic Congress get ready to read the treaties. Working together was better than fighting. Being in AMA. Enoch Tay Mensa, commonly known as E.T. Mensa, was a Ghanaian politician. He was a minister for education and a member of parliament in Ghana from January 1997 till January 2017. Enoch Tay Mensa was born on 17th of May 1946 and comes from Pram Pram in the Greater Accra region. He schooled at Snaps College of Accountancy, which he completed in 1968. 